We're in the sample reception and we received our cervical smears now in pots and they come with a form and in a plastic bag and this is what we do with them. We take out the form and we take out the pot, we discard the bag and the bin and then we check to make sure that the patient's name and date of birth on the pot matches the name and date on our request forms. We then give the pot a unique barcode and we also give the form the same barcode so we can then match up the slide once it's processed with the form. We then loosen the lid of the vial, put it in our rack which will then go into the, our big processing machine and then we date stamp the form. This is our T3000 machine that makes the slides from the vials that we just showed you. So we open the machine up, you have to make sure the consumables are in place, you have to make sure the slide racks so that the final slides will end up will be all in place. We then have to make sure there are slides in the slide holders and this is where the sample will go on to. So make sure these are both full up, which they are. We then have to make sure there are filters in place and then we just slide the new rack of them in and then we unlock where the vial racks go and we put them in and we lock it all into place and we shut the machine up and we press start. The, the way the machine works is there's a vortex inside the machine and it takes, it vortexes the sample in the pot and it uses a filter, uses a filter and the vorte it vortexes until it gets a layer, of, a monolayer of cells, so it's only one cell thick and once it's at that gradient it then blows the sample onto a slide which is in one of the slide holders. And so it blows the sample onto the slide and then it's at this monolayer that we can screen it. And this is what the slide looks like at the end. And this is the staining machine and this is where the slide which have been produced on the T3 are then stained so that they can be screened. They go through a series of waters and alcohols and then from those they go into haematoxylin, which stains the nuclei of the cell, and then they move through to another stain called OG6, which is orange, and it highlights cytoplasm and keratin in cells. And they also go to EA50, which is another cytoplasmic stain, which shows up blues and greens. And you, they then go, are washed through more alcohols, and they finish up in xylene, which is a clearing agent, which allows which takes away all the water so the slide is clear to screen. So now I'm going to put the samples on and we click on the monitor screen when it comes up with a list of different types of stains and we need to select the Papa Nikolai stain as this is what you use to visualise the cells for cervical samples. So we click on start, choose the method, which is the Papa Nikolai, select, it tells us which basket to put it in, we put them in the basket, 40 in a time can go in, slide the basket back in, finish the door and then we press start and the whole process will take about half an hour. This is the T2 machine. Compared to the T3 machine, which runs 40 samples in one go, this machine runs just one sample on its own. So we open the door. This is for samples which have come off the T3 as being too dilute, so they need to be remade, and so we have to remake them on the T2. We also do non-gyne samples, depending on how mucoid they are. So we take the vial that, and we unscrew it and put it in place there. We then take a filter, a single filter, and we pop it onto the filter lid. We then insert the filter lid there, give it a twist to make sure it moves freely. 
and with this slide we have to write on it. It doesn't automatically print like the T3. We then slip it into the slide compartment, making sure it's fit tightly, and then take an alcohol pot, put it in its place, and this is where the final slide will end up being fixed before it goes on the staining machine. We then shut the door and choose the right option for the right sample. So this is a mucoid, so you press three. The program's now finished, so we open the door and the slides will be, end up in the alcohol pot, which fixes it so it doesn't dry out and the slide ends up.